what's going on guys clutch here once again welcome back to farming simulator 19 today we're looking at something a little bit different uh with the release of the new heating plant that we received just this last week as a mod i was kind of curious to see what was going to be the best way now to make money logging whether it be well using this heating plant uh would it be selling it over to the logging area over there either in wood chips or full or would we just be better off to plop down our very own wood chipper and just sell right into that so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna go test some methods out here uh we're gonna see what we get for well each of these different methods and see which one makes us the most money all right let's dive into this guy's bitter batter clutch simulations all right so let me just start by saying that I am by no means a logger. Uh, if you watch any of my Let's Plays before, you're well aware of this, but we're going to do this anyways. Um, so what I've got going on is uh, we are in new farmer mode right now. Uh, yeah, new farmer mode. We are economy set at zero, or well, normal, I should say. And uh, let's see what our economy prices are sitting at right now for wood chips. Just out of curiosity, there we go. Wood chips at the sawmill, 146. So... Right now, uh, wood chips typically sell on new farmer mode or uh, farm manager mode, sorry, farmer manager mode on with normal. You'll be looking at prices between, on the low end will be around 86, I believe. And on the high end, you will look at 202. So this is pretty much right in the middle right now at 146. Uh, that's what we're gonna go off the baseline. Just know that you could possibly get another 25% of value uh, potentially out of the wood chips that we sell back at the, at the uh, the sawmill now that's uh all fine and down what we're gonna do is uh well we're gonna feed this one same tree this one log right here i'm going to start by feeding it through well the wood chipper here see what we get i'm gonna reset the game come back grab the same log feed it through the wood chipper here and go dump that into our heating plant that we placed there reset the game again do the same thing with just the log over to the sawmill and then do wood chips over at the sawmill as well and we'll see what we get for prices for all four of those methods all right well let's get to work um yeah i need to cut this up if i want to do this right so let's cut this into a few chunks so it's a little bit more manageable if i can do this nice and quick and then we'll just toss this right inside that wood chipper and this will be the quickest easiest way to get some money right off the bat and we'll do one more just to be fun and safe and make it life easy. There we go. All right, so we'll pick this up and throw this in. There it goes. Oh, a whole four dollars worth of wood sold. Wow, that was a lot. Uh, throw this one here in there. Come on. Thank you. I do find that this wood chipper does work the best. <laughs> it does do a very good job of sucking the wood in. Uh, another 266. We've got a jam up here. i got to go fix, of course. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. That one has to go back in. There we go. Oh, this one still has a branch on it. That's okay. That should take it anyways. Perfect. And last piece, I believe. Alright, so that's all the wood there. That's that whole tree. Excellent. Alright, so let's see what we got. Uh, we'll go take a look at the start menu here, because it's obviously in different pieces. Once that logs, 1200 there. So, into our budget. You can ignore most of the other stuff because this is obviously not uh, in counting. So, sold wood, 25.72. There we go, so that's how much that was. 25.72 is what that counted for. So we'll mark that down. That's our first one. I'm gonna go relaunch this save and we'll try some other methods. All right, so 2,500, almost 2,600 bucks we got from just wood shipping it straight into our placeable wood shipper here. Now let's go check a look and uh, see what we get if we put wood chips into the heating plant, the placeable wood plant or wood uh, heating plant we got last week. Let's see what we got here. So I've already bucked this tree all up again. It's ready to go. It's the exact same tree as we did our first one. And uh, go, get in there. There we go. We'll just wood chip this all up. 
And we'll see what we get. There's that same. Oh, come on. Get in there. Get in there. That's better. Apparently I didn't make them small enough. I'm going to have to push this in the whole way too, aren't I? Yes, I am. Ah, uh, get in there. You know it. Get in. Come on. There we go. That's better. Just give it a few shoves and it should take it eventually here. This is the easy way of logging for me. This is my, uh, my style. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. There she goes. All right. And we got a couple more left to do. I cut them just a little bit too long, but that's okay. And take it. There we go. I think two more pieces and we should be good. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't know how you guys do this with the <laughs> tractors. I just don't have the patience. There we go. All right, so we'll do one more and then we can go and drop this off into our heating plant and see what we got. All right. The last piece. So in theory, these should all be identical in size. There's no reason they wouldn't be because, well, like I said, I'm relaunching the save. Uh, go. And go. Okay. Are you just going to eat it, or are you going to turn any of those into wood chips? Int oh, there it goes. I was going to say. There's got to be some wood chips in there. There we go. Alright, so that should do it. Uh, yeah, and then we've got to wait for this to unload it now for some reason. I don't know why it does it every once in a while. I've seen it do that a couple of times before. And now I have to sit here and wait while it uh, does its thing. This could take a couple of seconds. And the funny thing is, is it actually even giving us any? Uh, no, it's not. It doesn't even count towards anything. It's just looking like it's doing something, but it's not. I think there might be like a bit of a glitch in there. There we go. So 14816 is what we ended up with there for leader, um, amount, leaders. I think it's leaders. I think that's what they go by, but anyways. Let's uh, dump this in. Uh, I think I need to tip this. There we go. Nope, this way. There we go. So we'll uh, dump this in, and we'll see what we get. Go, 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 go. You can see the price on the top right there. It's going up. Perfect. All right, so 23.58. Interesting. All right, so that's less than uh, what we received before, and this requires more equipment. Interesting. All right, um, well, we know that now. I'm going to mark that down. Let's go uh, take a look if we sell the wood chips directly to the, uh, directly to the sawmill itself and see what we get out of that. All right, so next up, let's go take our bin of... Uh, chips here over to the sawmill. Now you can see we ended up with just a little less than last time for some reason. 14.781 instead of 14.8.816 or something like that I think we had. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head here. But we ended up with just a little bit less wood chips for some reason from the tree that time. Anyways, very similar. And actually, you could probably do the math and figure this out. It's not that difficult to, uh, to figure out just because we're getting the amount for it. We'll double check that before we dump it in here just to make sure our math is still correct on that sense. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's go drop this off. Now, before we dump, we'll need to take a look at what the price is for this. Whoa. Uh, there we go. Okay, so our price right now for wood chips. We'll scroll all the way down. Wood chips, 145. All right, so it's gone down a little bit since we looked at it last time. It's on the way down, but that's okay. That's still right in the middle. Uh, just take into account that you could potentially get another 25, 30% uh, for this. You could also lose 25, 30%, since we're pretty much right in the middle. <laughs> Just good to know. All right. 2153. Wow, that's the, uh, the worst price yet. Now, like I said, though, you could potentially get 25 to 30% more if it was in a higher demand right now. But like I said, it's right about average, right in the middle. Uh, it goes from around, like I said, 208 down to 83, 86, somewhere in that range. And right now we're at 145, which is right in the middle. So 
do the math on that. Um, yeah, it is right in the middle somewhere, so anyways. All right, let's go uh, do our last method here. We'll take that whole log over and sell it as one piece. All right, so I'm not really sure what I expected here. I think I got it launched in there and locked in place. I should be able to get it over to the drop point. <laughs> um, now take note as well on this, that uh, it does say that you will get better prices for longer pieces of wood as well as straighter pieces of wood. Now, we can't really adjust that with what we've got, but just take uh, take care with that, I guess. If you can have longer longer pieces, you're better off typically. However, let's go see what we're going to get for this one full piece here. This will be the maximum we'll get for this one piece. Let's see if it's going to stay there. You stay in there. You stay in there. Oh, it worked. I <laughs> uh, love it. All right, so we're going to go drop this off, and uh, we'll see what we get for it. Uh, oh, this is going to be fun to try to drop this off too, isn't it? Leave that there. See if we can pick this up and throw it out. Oh, that would be too easy. Of course that would be too easy. No, I think I picked up the trailer. Oh, I did. Come on. Alright, there we go. And actually, you know what? With this map, I think I don't even need to do this, but that's okay. We'll just drop this right here. We'll go hit our sell button. And... 3200. Wow. Well, I think we already know which ones are most profitable. Interesting. All right, well, let's head back and just examine our numbers. All right, so to summarize, our first method was just to use the wood chipper, place it down and sell that way. Now, if we consider that um, all four of these ways of pulling logs down will require the same equipment as far as the chainsaw and some kind of a front loader or telehandler or something to pick the logs up, I'm not gonna count that into the equation. Just the differences in equipment that require to, uh, to sell them essentially. So the wood chipper itself, well, really the only thing different you're going to need is the wood chipper. And that there thing comes to 72,000. So um, it actually sold for the second highest amount. We got 2,572 bucks for that log, but it will cost us 72 grand to purchase this unit. Nice thing about it is though, you place it and forget it. You don't have to deal with maintenance on it, no fuel. It just runs, but you can't move it either afterwards. It's stuck where it is. Just take that into account, not a bad option. All right, so number two, uh, we were using our wood chips to go fill our heating plant, the new heating plant we got. So that way there, um, what, we would, what we require for equipment would be obviously the uh, mobile wood chipper here. Uh, we're also going to assume that you have a tractor and a, and a bin that you can use. So I'm not going to count that into the equation, but you're also going to need obviously the heating plant. Now, the heating plant's pretty expensive at like 68,000, um, and as well, the wood chipper is 64. So you're looking for a grand total of $132,000 to perform that maneuver. And this ended up being only netting us 2358 So this was actually the uh, the third third best. But as far as uh, once you factor in the cost of the equipment, it's actually pretty expensive. And I don't think I would recommend doing that. This seems like uh, a lot more work and not nearly as much payoff. <laughs> All right. Um, so that will do it for that the heating plant. The third way was just to take our wood chips and sell them at the... Uh, at the sawmill itself, so selling our wood chips. Now this got us the worst amount of money at only 2,153, roughly, but mind you, like I said, that does fluctuate with, with market prices. So you could expect upwards of 30% more than that. Of course, like I said, you could expect less than 30% of that as well. Um, yeah, so that one there, once again, we're going to require this wood chipper, which is 64,000, I think it is, $64,000. Um, that would be the only real equipment we'd require on top of anything else. So not as bad of an option, I guess, once you factor that in, but still. Uh, then you still have to travel back and forth to the sawmill. Yeah. And then it's also taking into account that you have a tractor as well as a, uh, a dump trailer in already that you can use. And then our last method, of course, was just selling the logs. Now, there is some cost-effective ways we could have done this. Um, the trailer itself is only, I think, 28,000, somewhere in that range. Uh, so we could have gone with this trailer and a dolly, a, uh, a dolly, and then assume we had a tractor that we could have towed this with, and then just loaded the logs onto it. And we'd be looking around thirty-five to forty thousand there. So that would be like the most cost-effective way of getting the trees and pretty much anything to the sawmill. And we sold it for the most at thirty-two thousand, just over thirty-two thousand, thirty-two hundred one along those lines. 
So that is by far the most cost effective way and the way you can make the most money by logging. <laughs> now, that being said, you have to take into account that you will need to cut the trees in half at least to fit them on there properly, uh, possibly even thirds. So there is a little bit more work involved in that. Uh, and it can be a bit of a pain if you don't have an auto load trailer of sorts. So you have to take that into account as well. So if you enjoy it, that's probably the best way to go though, guys. Um, if you need the truck, however, the truck is $100,000 usually, depending on which model you go with. There are some mods obviously that are cheaper, but the average base mod tr or base trucks are around 100,000, 150, 180, somewhere in that range. So uh, you have to take that into account as well. So anyways, that would be the way I would go with. I would stay away from the heating, <laughs> the heating plant. All right, anyways. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you found this informative. I thought it was kind of a fun little thing to do. I enjoyed making this one, so that was kind of cool. Anyways, if you did, make sure you leave a big old up dog for me. If you didn't, put throw down a dog, down dog. And uh, if you are not a subscriber, guys, don't be afraid to subscribe. We'll see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.